Hi guys, I went outside today. Uh, unfortunately, I went to this place called Hell. Uh, they were having an event. The last fair train, the last Erie County fair train of um, the rest of our lives. First thing in the morning, I woke up at 4. Then we drove all the way to Buffalo. And we got to the shops, the main shops. And that's where everything was starting. First order of business was checking out the newly painted 4212, which was looking nice and shiny, nice and shiny and clean, uh, compared to its old CP rail paint. They did some slight modification, they really just moved the headlight and fixed it and made it run again, but it's, they really did uh, wonders with it for the fare train. For the first things first, they had to send 93 down to Hamburg to go pick up the Penn Central caboose from the station. <laughs> I'm not sure why he said ding 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 here. I think the bell broke between that last clip and this clip somehow. The engine was built, uh, you know, in the 40s, so it's pretty old. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happened. After he left, we took a stroll through the shop and took a look at some of the things that was happening in there while they prepared to cold start 4212. And the pictures you're looking at right now are basically uh, 1847 being uh, picked apart. Uh, I believe the uh, manager, Pat Connor, said that there was a cracked cylinder head or something else that was wrong with it. They started the startup sequence for 4212 and I got a okay sound clip and I just want you guys to take a nice listen. After that they moved the engine outside of the shop and began waiting for 93 to return with the caboose. And once 93 was back, we all got the okay to hop up in 4212 after they connected the caboose together. And let me tell you, I wanted to film from the cab, and they would have let me too. Uh, that thing bounces. It's so bouncy. It's got like some of the springiest springs on the truck suspension setup that I have ever been on. And man, it's so bouncy. And because of the bounce, uh, they basically just told us that the caboose is a good place to film, and we rode on that instead. And it was very nice because it's open platform. And for like the next like five or so minutes, it's just going to be a couple videos of us running down to Tiff Street, where the fare train was waiting for us to pick it up. So, you know, sit back, relax, and uh, eat popcorn. So something pretty interesting happened. Um, we made it to the diamond just before Tiff Street Yard, and we didn't get clearance. So I got the interesting opportunity to catch a train from the back of another train.
After that, we continued on our way business as usual, but being inside of a train yard is a very interesting experience, and unless you've been on Amtrak, not a lot of people have experienced that, and there was a lot going on. So once we got to the yard, we ran around the train and then coupled up and we went on our way. And I'm in the cab in the next uh, clips because with the weight of the train pulling on the Alco, it doesn't bounce as much, which is interesting. In the end of this clip, they're stopping to let us onto the uh, engine. And let me tell you, I'm not jealous of these people. The engine is cool, but man, is it uncomfortable in there. No AC, I bouncy. And they do this all day and every day, so just give a round of applause to your local short line workers, if you have any. But like I said earlier, this place was like intensely busy. There was trains going by like every five minutes, and some of them were pretty neat. So in the next like two or three clips, I'm going to show you some of the things I caught. Before we picked up the people waiting for us at Lake Avenue, we did a little bit of a photo op just before the signal of the diamond. 
in the last picture, that's the crew of the train, and they were very accommodating to me and my dad um, the whole time. And they are very friendly to the fans, and they're just all around a good crew to run with today. So as we pull into Lake Avenue, you can see the amount of turnout here is pretty impressive for a fair train. Uh, there, at the actual ceremony, there is about a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred people, and here I'd say there are far more than a hundred. After that we continued the straight line trip all the way to Hamburg where the ceremony was taking place. Now for this next specific clip, the sound coming from the engine is the loudest I've ever heard. Uh, my ears were ringing by the time it was done. Um, and the smoke show was pretty good too, so I just sit back and watch.
And this last clip here and then the subsequent pictures that follow are basically us wrapping up the trip. Once the train stopped in Hamburg, they had the ceremony and then uh, it quieted down after that. And overall, it was a 10 out of 10 trip and I would do it again. It was a pretty neat ceremony. Everyone gave a little speech. It was, uh, they handed the key to the city off to the fair people, which was interesting. They unloaded all the fair equipment, they got it all on the way, and they took the banner off the thing, so we got a couple pictures of the engine, uh, in full paint that you probably, that you've seen, uh, before. And then we got some pictures of the crew and that was it and then we left town it was eight hours a full eight hour trip 